Well, good morning, folks. It's Richard here. Today, I'm on the Tennessee River. Uh, the, the weather conditions today is going to be very bad. There's 50% chance of rain and thunderstorms today. So I've decided to try to seek refuge and stay under these bridges to keep from getting so wet and fish uh, four flathead catfish today. I was fortunate this morning I caught me some big golden shiners and I, my intentions is to catch a big flathead or a blue. I have some shad with me too, fresh shad. So I'll show you what we're going to do today and how I'm going about it. Okay, I'm going to show you my first uh, my first rig right here. I have a eight alt Gamakatsu octopus circle right here tied with a snail knot with a no snail knot with 50 pound test leader about 20 inches of it with a mustad swivel then i have a bead and then i have an easy sinker slide right here which the current's not really that bad this morning so i'm going to use uh probably a one ounce bank sinker to start with right here now i like these right here i hadn't used them on this channel but i've used them in the past off camera see how quick that is now if i need something heavier i can just go back in here and find me a, a heavier weight so uh let's rig us up a golden shiner and I'll tell you what I'm fishing for when it comes to flathead or big blues. Okay, let's get us a big shiner. All right, this is a shiner about oh, eight and a half, nine inches long. And I'm just going to hook him right through there like that. Okay, live shiner. And I'm using a six and a half foot all-star rod, believe it or not, with an Ambassador 6500S loaded with 40 pound line. That's my main line. Let's lob him out here and see, uh-oh, if that one ounce, I hold him. Now what I'm doing right here is I'm not just fishing anywhere. I'm fishing right off the side of this brake line that's real rocky, real rocky. I, you can lose a lot of tackle right here. Uh, for flathead catfish, I like real rocky areas. Rocky areas or submerged logs, things of that nature, real heavy cover. Okay, and they could be a big blue in there. You don't never know, but let's put that one. Uh-oh, look what I done right there. That's fishing. I'll have to clean that up. But let's put that in the rod holder and we'll just wait and see if we can get a big fish to bite. And uh, I'm gonna rig one up on this rod too. Same way, but I'm fishing a brake line with a lot of rocks. Now I'm in 25 feet of water right here, or 28 feet of water, excuse me. Like I said, fishing a big rock pile right here. Um, I'll give it, with live bait, I'll give it about 20, 25 minutes, just the same as I would with cut bait. If I don't get bit, I'll move. We'll move to a different rock pile. There's a lot of them right in here that uh, me and Elmo know. Those rocks is probably about mm, 20 foot from where these two baits are laying. So, uh, and the current's going this way, so I'm counting for that big old flathead or blue to come out of those rocks and get one of these baits. I was just holding this rod, folks. I got a big shiner on it and got a bite. And I mean, it's a good bite. First bite of the day. Let's see what we got. There he is. That's how that works. <laughs> uh, got him on the silver cat rod right here. 
I don't think he's a great big one, but I tell you, he's fighting in this current. I can't talk again. Love this stuff. He's not a big one. I figure it's probably a flathead way he's fighting. Oh yeah. It's a flathead. Boy, boy, boy. There we go. He ain't bad. He ain't no great big one. By no means, but He's the first fish of the day. We've broke the ice. Come on in here. There we go. Uh-huh. Hit a big shiner. I'll show you how big of a shiner right here that he hit. I've got some dab ones in my cooler. Get one out. That right there. Big shiner. They love them. That bluegill, you know, gizzard, live gizzard shad. I like to fish them all. And all those work. But a shiner will definitely get the job done if you can get them. All right. Get her hook out right there. It's a nice one. He ain't no giant, but he's a flathead. We're flathead fishing. Well, really, we're trying to catch anything we can. Because <laughs> it's good for us. Let's let him go. Look at him. Watch him. There he goes. Okay. What about that? All I did right here is take this shiner. I threw that. I've been moving around. This is probably about the fourth time that I've moved. And uh, just had a guy here and got my rod situated. So I got that silver cat rod out and pitched that shiner behind this column. And I mean, by the time it hit the bottom, it might've been there a minute, boom. And I knew it was a flathead. I just didn't know how big. Let's catch another one. Yep, there's a fish, got that shiner, y'all see him? He ain't really taking it down though. It's fixing the rain. You talking about getting dark right in the middle of the day. Now it's dark. That fish right there will probably come back. We'll watch him right here. That fish has got it. Folks, that fish got it, come back and got it again. And he turned it loose. He ain't big enough for that big shiner. And he's got it again. What about that? He just ain't big enough to get that shiner in his mouth. <laughs> oh, man. If he ever heads back that way, he might hook himself. If, if he can get it in his mouth, that's the thing about it. Can he get it in his mouth? Well, I believe we got him. I believe we got him. I believe it's a small flathead. Fixing the rain. I'm fixing to have to get up under the bridge. Right here. That's how flathead hits. They just, I tell you, they're, they're hard to hook with a big live bait. You have to really be patient with them. He ain't a real big fish, but he ain't bad. He ain't bad at all. He's doing some fighting right here. I guarantee you, a flathead catfish got a lot of power. Woo wee! Look a there, look a there, look a there. Okay. Give old Richard two chances, catfish. That shiner was almost too big. Yeah, there he goes. 
almost too big for this fish. My goodness, they got the power. Would you quit getting a net? There you go. My goodness. Whew. I love to catch these things. I used to fish for them a whole lot. That's a pretty good flathead. He ain't no guard gantrin. He's a good one. I wished I could beat my personal best. My personal best is 44 pounds. That's why I'm fishing with these old big shiners. Let's look at that fish. Ain't that pretty? Pretty fish. Folks, here he is right here. I got another one back here that's on. I'm gonna try to hook him right now. Let me put this catfish right here. He's had it for a while. Let's see what we got. I'm gonna try to. There he is. Got another one. And that's a flathead too. I can tell by the way he's fighting. What about that? Got us a double boom boom right here. Hurricane Michael is causing this. It's right in the middle of the day and it is dark. Real dark. And catfish get real active. This one right here is pulling. I guarantee you. I think he's about the same size as what I just, the one I just caught, but we'll see. Yeah, might be a little bigger there. We'll let him wear out. I don't like to horse him. No need in it. Yeah, good fish. Okay, I'm fixing to get rained on, but that's okay. <laughs> We're having fun. <laughs> I used to catch these things like crazy, and I mean big ones. I'm going to get back into it. I forgot a lot of stuff, but I'm I'm getting back in the click a little bit because they are sporty. Dead. Oh, he's fat. Quiet. Okay. Wow. That was hard to do by yourself. There, Elmo. This in here is a little bit bigger headed. I believe, or that they might be identical twins. One's a little bit, this one right here is a little bit fatter than that one right there. Okay. Now I'm watching that other rod <laughs> because it could go off at any minute. The flat heads are moving. The surface temperature is 77 degrees. Fall's coming, no doubt. But let's get these catfish off. But here they are, two, two of the same. Okay, let's let them go. Okay, let's just let them both go right here. I'm watching that rod. I'm telling you, it could go off. No doubt, I. it's getting too dark out here to even film, but there they go. Nia Hall and Chia Hall. Goodbye. Okay, let's look at this rig real quick before we leave. It's, uh, you can get them at Walmart. Uh, look how easy you can get this off. See, it's got a little, a round catch on each side. And it's off. Ain't that cool? That's real cool. I like that. These kind of weights right here, see I'm fishing real heavy rocks right out in here. Uh, you won't get uh, uh, hung up so much, is what I'm trying to say, by using them. But I don't know, I love it. That's my last live shiner right here, it's on this rod, and I'm watching it close. But I'm also watching this weather. I'm gonna, 
I, I don't like to just catch three fish and then close out a video, but uh, I better go ahead and go in. I'm lucky so far not to, even, to get drenched, I'm talking about. But um, I guess the thing I'm trying to, point of this video is big baits. Now shiners, golden shiners is a great bait for flathead, but my goodness, bluegill are too. Shell cracker, I've caught them on shell cracker. I've caught them on uh, gizzard shad, the big ones. But I always use a big bait when I'm using live bait. They'll hit cut bait uh, just as well sometimes. Sometimes better, but usually live bait to catch them flatheads. Um, I'm sorry, I'm just, I, I know that there's some in the area and they're moving and that rod can really blow over, I mean, with a big one. I love it. And uh, there is nothing like the, the sport of fishing. And I want to tell y'all, thank y'all very much. And you know what? Hey, whoa.